as we go as well. So that's what will record the transactions up top. We will record an invoice type of transaction and then the receipt of the payment doing two formats, one and more of a traditional accounting setup where we're going to receive the payment and deposit it directly into cash. And the second being that we're going to deposit into undeposited funds, which you might use in accounting software. And we'll talk a little bit more about why that might be the case. So we're going to go to the practice tab then and enter this in. First, we're going to imagine we're entering an invoice for service that was done. We're not going to be dealing with inventory at this point in time because we really just want to get the accounts receivable on the books. So we're going to say then that let's say on 315, we issued an invoice. Typically what would happen there is receivables would go up. We would increase the accounts receivable. We're going to debit that to increase it. We're going to say it's for 1,600. The other side would be going to some type of sales account. So we'll pick up the sales account down below. Sales, notice it's indented here, alignment indent. And the sales goes up with a credit, which I'm going to put in D3 as negative of the cell above it. So there is our debit and the credit for the invoice. No inventory are we going to be dealing with with this particular transaction. Let's record this item now. Accounts receivable. Here's the accounts receivable account. It's going to be going up. I'm in cell H6. Going to say equals. Scroll on over to that 1,600 increasing 2,000 up by 1,600 to 3,600. The second half then go into the sales item. That's down below. We're out of balance now by the 1,600. We're in sales. Sales is a credit. That's why it's a negative number. The, the negative numbers representing credits. It's going to go up in the credit direction. That will increase then the net income down below as well. Equals pointing to that 1,600. And it goes up from 200,000 up in the credit direction to 201,600. The net income, this not being a loss, but income, the brackets representing credits, 24,710 going up by the 1,600 to the 26,310. Let's go ahead and post this now to.